Hello and welcome to 15 Day Z Beginner Tips and Tricks. Here I'll show a few things that you should absolutely know as a beginner. So let's get into the video. 1. Lock zombies in buildings. Unless you're confident or well equipped, it's silly to try and take on more than one zombie at a time and you can be swarmed quickly. So instead what you should do is run into a building with the zombies in trail and then run out locking the door behind you. This is a great way to escape a horde, however it works so well other players do it too to leave traps. So always be careful when entering places such as military bases or warehouses or police stations because they could be filled with zombies locked behind the door. Two. Eat your fruit right away. The fruit that you start off with in your inventory, it takes up unnecessary space while you're looting and it also won't fill or hydrate you full so you might as well just have it right away. This gives you a little bit more time to focus on getting more food and supplies and it's just way easier. 3. If you spawn in the dark or when it's raining, don't be afraid to change server. There are icons to indicate whether it's day or night but sometimes mistakes happen. Don't be afraid to just jump into a new server if you're new. Nighttime searching is hard for beginners and as a beginner you'll learn more in the daytime so just skip four learn how to build a fire fires are good for so many things do not put off learning this skill some buildings even have fireplaces inside but be warned all fires give off smoke and can alert players to your position even indoors fires leak smoke from the chimney but sometimes they're necessary so make them but be alert five Learn how to hunt or cook animals. This ties into the last one. Whether fishing with a rod or chasing chickens and pigs around the field, cutting up their meat and cooking them is one of the best ways to get food when you're out in the middle of Livonia or Janaris. I hardly ever even look for cans anymore because I'm always using the meat that I find and cook. Hunting and cooking doesn't ever let me down. Plus, carrying the warm meat heats you up for a little while. Hunt the chicken, kill the chicken, skin the chicken, eating the apple. What is life? Six. Never punch a zombie or player with an item in your hand. This may seem simple, but if you punch somebody with something useful, it likely will get damaged and become unusable. This includes bandages and water bottles. Seven. Search for clothes immediately as soon as you start to search for food and supplies. It's easy to forget how important clothing is when you're struggling to find food, but poor insulation can lead to common colds and other illnesses which can literally come on in minutes and it just inconveniences you and messes up the rest of your game, gives you a really bad start. It's important you check clothing for the level of insulation they provide to make sure you're able to travel around the map without suffering illnesses. Hats and gloves also aid in insulation, so pick them up too. Oh, and clothing has weight, which means the higher the weight the higher the bends but in cold weather it's probably worth the trade-off eight don't stay on the coast longer than you need to find food find basic supplies such as an axe and a knife then leave the loot on the inland is much better and staying on the coast is essentially a slow death you'll get supplies but hardly ever enough to flourish and never enough to be worth staying there nine Learn where the wells are. Not every well, but certainly the ones on the main coastline. This can help you prepare for your journey significantly. To help you with this, you can download the app called I Survive on your phone or go to a website and figure out your location. Links in the description. From there, learn its location for the next time you spawn for a good source of hydration. Or if you don't have the app, a good rule of thumb is wells are often located in the center of larger towns or cities. 10. Remember the only real safe drinks are canned drinks such as Pipsies. Water bottles sometimes don't even contain water and can poison you. I always recommend emptying the bottle as soon as you get it or refilling it at a well unless you absolutely can't because it's not worth the risk of getting poisoned. Is this sound making anyone else need to pee? 11. Wash your hands every opportunity you get. Getting blood on your hands, such as from fighting zombies or trying to catch and kill chickens, can get you sick quickly. Just walk over to somewhere like a pond, ocean or well and wash. 12. If you get ill from drinking poisoned water or eating raw meat, the only cure is tetracycline pills. Eat and drink in small increments, never letting your bars fill above the yellow or you'll vomit them back up again. Take one pill at a time. When the pill icon disappears from the bottom right, take another until that virus icon is gone. Then you can eat normal. 13. When it rains, try to stay indoors. Wet clothing is another way this game can kill or injure you. If it rains, you're best seeking cover until it passes or swapping clothes frequently as it makes you cold. Additionally, fires can dry your clothes if they're wet or damp or you can wring them out if you fall into like a river or a pond or if you just get too wet and it'll knock it down to damp. Which still gives you a cold penalty but it's better than walking around in wet clothing. 
14. If you get a common cold, codeine can stop you from coughing temporarily, but tetracycline pills can cure it. Similar to salmonella and cholera from poisoned water and raw meat, one pill each time. Take off any hats, gloves, masks or helmets until cured, as did infected, and will just let the infection circulate. Common colds can be passed around players, so if someone sneezes, avoid them. Also, be aware, coughing alerts other players and zombies to your location, so you want to get rid of this as soon as possible. 15. Watch your shoes. Shoes can degrade or get damaged and being stuck in the middle of nowhere with a busted pair of shoes leads to cuts, which leads to blood loss, which leads to death. If you have the room, just carry a spare pair of shoes with you. It's always a cool and useful addition for longer playthroughs, especially considering your feet keep getting cut every few seconds after you wrap them up. It's not something you're going to survive for long. It is a horrible and slow way to go. Well, this is horrific for all parties involved. As it happens... The flu is just as deadly as the shoe. So hopefully this helps. If you want more, feel free to check out my other videos where I give more tips and I go into more detail about the tips I've already given. Also check out the description for the name and link to the app I referenced. If you have any questions or want to suggest a better tip than I've given, feel free to comment below. Also, if you can give me a like and a sub, I'd appreciate it so much. I'm such a small channel, it helps me, you have no idea. Thanks for watching and happy surviving.